What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today I want to talk about a couple of rods I got to field test during my trip out to the St. Lawrence River in Lake Ontario and that I've been continuing to use since I've been back my first weekend back here in New Hampshire. And they're from Wicked Custom Rods, which is a New Hampshire based custom rod building company. Guy got started up making ice rods and then he started making bass rods most recently and I gotta tell you I'm like ridiculously impressed. So when I'm out there I had three different rods to use. I had a casting rod for jigs and kind of a bunch of other stuff. I had two spinning rods, one that was supposed to be for a drop shot, one that was for a tube, and I kind of bounced around with how I was utilizing those. So the tube rod I actually ended up using quite a bit as a drop shot rod while I was out there on the river and Lake Ontario, mainly because it had a higher rate for what it could handle for weights, and we were throwing a lot of three quarter ounce drop shot weights while we were out there. Now that rod's a six foot nine inch, medium, extra fast, built out of an MHX Elite X blank, with Fuji TVS reel seat, split wind grips, and Fuji SIC guides. I put a lot into that rod while I was out there. I gotta say, like probably 80% of the time we were out there, I fished a drop shot. And out of the entirety of the time I was fishing a drop shot, probably 80% of that was done on what was supposed to be the tube rod, and then the rest I then used the actual drop shot rod. Now that rod was perfect. For a drop shot rod it was only rated to a half ounce though and we're again we're using a lot of three quarter ounce weight so i didn't want to use that too much i was really worried i was going to break the thing now but when i did get around to using it when we were there the last day and things had calmed way down i was able to just throw a half ounce weight and we we're okay with that it was everything i wanted in a drop shot rod for me personally now that rod was a black and gold color it was a seven foot medium light fast action also built out of the MHX Elite X Blank, the Fuji TVS Reel Seat, Split Wind Grips, and Fuji SIC Guides. So, for those that followed my videos from the past, what I had been using previously for, to start for a drop shot rod was a 6 foot 9 medium light St. Croix Mojo Bass Rod. This is a very nice rod, it got me by for years. And then I switched over to Luz, and I was using that Team Luz Custom Pro. Uh, that one was the Dock Sniper model. Uh, model and that one was 611 medium and i liked it a little bit better with it being a bit longer and you wouldn't think that that one inch would make a difference but adding in the one inch or to make a more accurate comparison going from my 69 medium light to the seven foot medium light that's what i was looking for in a drop rod drop shot rod i wanted something that was a little bit longer and just was a little bit more of that supple action because i don't know to me with that being a medium light still but just a little bit longer i feel like that extra length is more towards the tip as far as where that extra length is being applied from you know what i mean i'm not getting more backbone i feel like i'm getting more softness in the action that's what i want so when you do hook into something you can just really do that lean into it and you can set the hook by doing that you know instead of powering into it and trying to set the hook in you can lean into it and just pull it in and this was an awesome rod. The sensitivity on it was insane. And there was a few times where we did throw a three quarter ounce when we got kind of close to the current when we were at St. Lawrence, um, but it still handled it fine. Beautiful rod. I can't, I can't tell you how good the sensitivity was. I could feel gobies biting the weight down in 50 feet of water on this thing. And I do have braids in my main line and I went to a, about a 15 foot long liter of eight pound fluorocarbon. But it was nuts. I thought I was dragging over rock to begin with, but it was sand where we were fishing in a lot of spots, and you could feel the gobies nibbling it from 50 feet down. Really, really nice rod. I cannot say enough good things about it. Now, coming back to that tube rod, that six foot nine, the black and red model, I did a ton of drop shot fishing with that during the week. And again, because I was primarily fishing a three quarter ounce weight, and I wanted something just a little bit more backbone. Other than that, I mean, that was the only difference between those two rods. You had the longer one that was a medium light and it was just supple and worked great for a drop shot rod. And then, or lighter weights, and actually ended up, when I wasn't using it as a drop shot rod, I was using a very light tube on that. Because there was some instances where I felt I could get away with a three, three eighth ounce weight with my tube. And that worked out so-so. Mm, I didn't really get that many bites on the tube. But the whole overall setup for it worked really good. And then I went to that shorter, stiffer rod for the drop shot, again, fishing a three quarter ounce weight. It was no different from that seven foot as far as overall sensitivity, same deal. Fishing 50 feet of water, you could feel a goby fart on the thing. It was so sensitive. I really like these rods. I, compared to everything I've fished, you know, I've fished a lot of 
the St. Croix Mojos. Now I got these Lou's Custom Pro, uh, the Team Lou's Custom Pro rods, which are like retail about 220 bucks. These things stood minimum toe to toe, and I think they outperformed them. Um, especially from a build standpoint, I like the size of the grips better than the Lou's. Not that there's anything wrong with the Lou's. They're still awesome rods, and we're going to continue to fish them. But these just kind of had everything going for me as far as overall fit and finish and size and the whole nine yards. It was phenomenal. So last but not least, we had that casting rod. This was intended to be a jig rod, and I used it as such. I also tried throwing a dark sleeper on it. I tried throwing a bigger tube on it, a couple of different tubes. I just couldn't get bit on anything that I was throwing that was big and kind of bulkier profile on this rod. But boy, I got to use the heck out of it. It's nice. So this jig rod is a seven foot three inch heavy fast, again, built on the MHX Elite X blank using Fuji PTS reel seat, split wind grips and Fuji SIC guides. Now what makes this rod really special by comparison to a lot of other rods I've used is the grip. It actually has a carbon fiber grip and that transmits so much more sensitivity to this. It's really light, it's got the power where you want it, and you can do a variety of different things with it. With that seven foot three, it, it's got a lot of backbone, almost the whole way up. But there's just enough springiness in the tip that I can fish a bunch of different things. I was happy fishing either three eighths ounce or even up to a three quarter ounce and even a one ounce uh, dark sleeper on this. It felt good. I feel like I can get away with throwing top water in this too. Like if I wanted to throw a buzz bait, if I wanted to throw even like a chatter bait, if I was gonna, you know, try and to bomb the thing, and I, I, I could do that. And I like that, because to me, this is like a higher end, on the upper half of power, very versatile rod. It would be best for fishing a jig, but you could do a number of things with this, and that's what I really like about that. And that's always been big for me. For any rods I buy, is having that versatility. That's gonna wrap it up for this video talking about Wicked Custom Rods. Again, they're based here, right here in New Hampshire. Go ahead and check them out. Link to his website is down in the video description below. He's not just bass fishing rods. He does everything. He's built a bunch of custom rods for other customers and he builds custom ice fishing poles. So if you're looking to get in ice fishing with that coming up just in a few months, he's the guy you wanna to talk to. So thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Again, don't forget to check out his website, video description below. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.